Hello guys, so today I'm going to show you how to run Half-Life 2 using the Source Engine on macOS. So as you can see, I have an M1 Mac Mini from 2020, and if I open up Steam here, and I open Half-Life 2, you can see that it says this macOS version is unable to run 32-bit games, I can only run 64 bits. And what this tutorial is going to do is turn it into a 64-bit game. First step is to install Homebrew. Now I have a guide in the description that I'm linking with all the commands. So the first one's in the guide. Just copy it, paste it into your terminal, put in your password, hit enter, and Homebrew will install on your Mac. The next thing you want to do once Homebrew is finished installing, is install the Xcode command line tools. So Homebrew is finished installing as we can see there. Let's copy the second command, paste it in here. Now I already have it installed, but you guys will get a little pop-up asking to install it and it'll probably take around 20 minutes. Now we need to install the packages from Homebrew. So we're just going to make sure Homebrew is working fine and then we're going to actually install the packages. Now I want to clone the source engine GitHub repository. So I'm going to copy this fourth command, paste it in, and I already have it cloned, so I'm not going to do this. But once you do clone it, make sure you cd into this directory. So cd source engine, and now we are in. Now we want to configure this build. So I'm going to copy this and paste it in here and now I have this script and it's using Python to configure a build for Half-Life 2. So I'll just hit enter here, give it a minute and everything's done. Now we actually want to build the game so copy the 6 command, paste it in here and this will probably take about 5 or 10 minutes for you it depends how fast your computer is. So once this is done we can just install the game, so we can hit copy, paste this in, and then I have my document slash gaming and then a Half-Life 2 directory here. You can change it accordingly. So I'll just hit enter on this, and it's going to put all the files that just built into this directory. So now this part's a little bit complicated. What we're going to do is we're going to open up our Steam app, and I already have Half-Life 2 installed, but if you don't have it installed, just install it. Then go to our little settings button. If Steam will work, God Valve. Uh, go to manage and browse local files. And now this will open up our little Half-Life 2 directory, as you can see here. So we can close Steam, and we have our directory here. So we also want to do another window. And then over here, I have my documents then my gaming, then my Half-Life 2. Okay, so now that I have my two directories open, this one with the Steam build, and this one with my own build that we just made in the terminal, what I'm gonna do is I'm first gonna drag in the platform folder into my own build. So from the Steam to mine. Then I'm gonna drag in the HL1 folder. Now in our HL2 folder, I'm gonna open this, and we have a lot of files here. I'm going to do command A to select them all and then command click the bin folder. So we want to copy everything in this folder except for the bin folder. So obviously command C to copy all this and now I'm going to go back to my own directory HL2 and now in this HL2 directory I will have my own bin folder. I'm just going to paste all those in, give it a minute and bang now we have all our files in here. The last thing I need to put in is this hl2.sh. So now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to rename this to hl2 underscore osx. These are all the files we need. Now, we can just delete everything in the Steam folder and copy everything from our own folder and paste it in the Steam folder. Boom. So that's a little complicated, 
but hopefully you did it correctly and now you should have all the right files in here. Now all we have to do is open up our friend Steam which is so buggy and just hit this green play button here we go and now Half-Life 2 is loading as you can see in the bottom there and there we are Half-Life 2 now this is a little low resolution so I can go to video and just up this resolution to my native resolution hit apply there we go now I have this Half-Life 2 running at full native resolution I can go to new game start a new game wait for it to load as you can see Half-Life 2 I'm getting about 150 frames a second it's pretty stable pretty consistent and as you can see the game is running correctly so I'm gonna pause the game here thank you for watching everyone I will see you in the next video Goodbye.